So I think the place where we start and our mutual connection about this play is really, so we're both Jewish women, uh, we're both activists, we're both artists. This is definitely, to me, a very Jewish play. This play is applicable to the Jewish community, the liberal community, the Muslim community. It's just, it, it's so relevant. It's just a bunch of people navigating a really scary, awful situation. Really difficult situation. Yeah, and questioning what their responsibility is. The five main friends are people that we all know, in yeah. a way, people who we potentially are. Agnes is really similar to me. She's an actor, I'm an actor. She's, <laughs> <laughs> she's liberal, I'm liberal. Uh, she's terrified, I'm terrified. What is she gonna do? How is she gonna respond ultimately? What is the choice that she's going to make? All of us today are thinking about how to respond constantly every moment yes. of our lives. Which says that it's needed right now. It's that so the story needed. is relevant and poignant and provocative and timely right now. After A Bright Room Called Day was written, Tony Kushner um, wrote reflections. Is it politically effective? Will it galvanize an audience to action or less ambitiously? Will it make an audience think, argue, examine the present? through the example of the past. This group of friends, they don't know what's coming. We look back on it with our modern eyes and say, well, of course, this, that, and the other, and by this, you don't know. A Bright Room Called Day really makes us ask those hard questions of ourselves that might be a little difficult, but it does so with humor and beauty and uh, love. It's not going to tell you exactly what to think. It's gonna pose all the questions and let you deal with them. And I think that that sort of theater is challenging and exciting. I think we all want that challenge and want a place to bring our emotions and to bring our thoughts and feelings. And this is the place. I'm no good without you. Period. Period. <laughs>